Hi guys, today we're gonna try the other world. Hi Julie. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you ready? We are going to see other world. Before we cross, let's just take a picture here. So we're excited about this. We're gonna find out what this is all about. Are you excited, Julie? Yeah? We had a shoe actually.
güey, bro. Súbete a tocarla. Get him to a doctor as soon as possible. <laughs> you wanna go inside? I do my Guys, we stumbled into this world. Everything is melting.
Baby, what do you think about the other world? <laughs> I can't believe you were supposed to give your opinion first. And no, no, no. I want, I want to know why you thought about the place first. I think it was good. It needed to be more dark, but uh, it's good for the kids. Uh, you can bring a stroller if you have a kid under two years old. Otherwise, if you can crawl, even better. I think that was the most... In everything, the most impactful was the experience to go under the bed, you know, get back into your roots as a child, and go into a whale, as weird as that sounds. Yeah, Julian really enjoyed that that room. He, he loved the fluffiness all over the walls yeah. and going inside of the whale. Well, yeah, I gotta be honest with you, I, I checked the whale and uh, he has a heart palpation. If you, if you ever go in there, you can see the heart. It has a little bit of bacteria in there. Um, we're gonna try and bring the people aware of this so they can get the whale to a doctor. But uh, it's like, uh, we, so we're gonna free the whale. Hashtag free the whale. Hashtag free the whale. Uh, Leo, do you have anything to say? Leo, did you like the other world? You like the chocolate? That's it. That's all you have to say. I like the light, there's a light place, there's a, um, it's just weird, you know, that's the one way to describe it. So the backstory is, you're in this uh, high-tech science lab and some experiment went wrong and now you're traveling through different worlds, trying to get back to your home world. It's kind of freaky, you know? Yeah, I was, I didn't know if Leo or Julian, if they were going to like it, because I, I Google the place before we we came and a couple of those pictures look kind of uh, a little bit trippy and let's let's be honest like we were all kind of like whoa what's going on here at least i was i saw your face and you were too i was amazed by and leo was scared leo was a little at first, scared yeah, at, first. at first yeah he, he didn't want to go alone he wanted to hold someone's hand but it's a hands-on experience won. so i i say he starts feeling the more he realizes there's nothing there, you know. Julie is right there. Julie, did you like it? Did you like the other world? One blink, yes, two blinks, no. Okay, he blinked once before I asked him, so that counts like a yes, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. So if you have little kids and they already know how to walk, I will suggest. That's the best, the best. You can still go with your kids that crawl, but you're going to be carrying them for a while. Yeah, like we walking. did with him. Yeah, there's a lot of walking. It's a very creative, hands-on experience. Yeah. We really liked it. It seems like they enjoyed it. But if you have a smaller kids, it'll be kind of hard. If you are planning on bringing a stroller, it's going to be hard. And you're not going to be able to go through the rooms as comfortable comfortably as you would if you were just by yourself or with yeah. older kids yeah so from one to ten how was your experience it's a uh, seven four two five three six two i believe that was a little specific i like that okay. <laughs> i will say like a eight point three just an input and a half oh. Okay, just 8.5 then. 8.5. Are you okay with that? Stay put. Stay put. Yeah. Eight point. My favorite room was the one with the well and the ones, the two with the lights. Oh, the strobe lights and the mirror one? Yes. Yeah, yeah like this one. You like the mirror one? Julian wants to say a couple of things. I did. He just wanted. Yeah, he just wanted attention. And I'm just right, So uh, I'm falling asleep, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> okay, driver. you
Ohio. This, I mean, I would recommend for you. If you don't have anything to do or if you want something to do with your little kids or with your family, this is a pretty good option, especially, well, right now it's summer, it's still summer, right? Yeah, but in the winter, like when there's not much to do outdoors, this would be a good option yeah. to do and it'll take you like an hour and a half it took us an hour and a half but we kind of rushed through a couple of uh, a couple of rooms because some of them were kind of creepy like the one that looked like a basement i didn't like that one oh, the so christmas, i was the basement christmas yeah i don't know I, I i didn't like that one so i was just like yeah i don't like this one let's go i'm pretty sure there's another room in there that we're gonna go to yeah most likely yeah. Oh, so yeah, there's interactive things, like little small stuff. If you start from the beginning, you're supposed to solve your way back and you do all these riddles and solve all these little puzzles. I say seven and up would be good. Seven or ten. Anything prior is just them exploring the world. Yeah. for the other world on the video description. Point on the screen, so it's gonna be somewhere. It's gonna be. Right. So that was, oh, say bye Leo, say bye. If you like this video, please uh, give us thumbs up. Leo, show me thumbs up. No, okay. Maybe can you show me thumbs up? <laughs> yes, I know what his thumb is. Okay, this is thumbs up. Namaste. <laughs> and leave us a comment if you went and you like it, or if you went and you didn't like it, or if you're planning on going. Just uh, let us know in the comments what you thought. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! No. Not yet? Okay, Leo has something to say before we leave. Say something. The monsters are coming Oh yeah! Bye guys!